Can I help you? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I would like to talk to you about Thomas Aquinas. What would you What would you like to tell me about him? I want to ask you a bunch of questions. Tell me more about Thomas Aquinas. Go on. I wouldn't know where to begin. What did he do? Who is he? Did you hear what I just said? I would like to talk to you about Thomas Aquinas. What's your name? My name is Julius. Julius. Yeah. Go on. Saint Thomas Aquinas was a great saint. Loved the cross of Christ. Loved the Eucharist, and loved the truth. Good. Terrific. I am fascinated by this. I have the utmost respect for Thomas Aquinas. Yeah. Go on. Well, I don't know much more about him. Why not? What are you talking about? Who is his daddy? Go on. I have a right to know yeah, about I Thomas like Aquinas. Give me a break. Go on. Okay, God bless you. Tell me more about Thomas Aquinas. Yeah. What's the matter? I'm going to get back to my work this afternoon, and I hope Tom St. Thomas will bless you and me. God bless you. Okay. Bye -bye. Yeah. Our lady seminary. Hi. How are you? Okay. Good. I would like to talk to you about Thomas Aquinas. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, certainly. Tell me more about Thomas Aquinas. What did he do? You mean the man, the man or the institution, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean there's there's a Thomas Aquinas College in California. That's why I wondered. <laughs> no. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Okay, so you're interested in the historical figure of Thomas Aquinas. Thomas Aquinas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. Okay, well, I, I'm not an, uh, any kind of a self-proclaimed expert on him, but I just know that he his um, scholastic method of philosophy and theology is something that he pretty much established based on, um, based on his... Um, experience in, in growing up and being educated in uh, the classical philosophies. But his, um, what they call scholastic philosophy today, was kind of a, uh, I guess you, you would call it a, um, uh, a distillation of Aristotle and Socrates and Augustine and other people who had preceded him. But the principles of St. Thomas Aquinas that are used today in our seminary uh, are the foundation of our philosophy department and to a great extent our theo theology department as well. And the scholastic method is, is one that, uh, and I'm not a professor, so bear with me, <laughs> but uh, okay. it is, is one where actually uh, in many cases Thomas would ask a question, and then he would answer the question, so that uh, he would have a hypothetical question or a very specific question, and then he would apply his principles of reason to respond to the question, to give it a firm and a fair answer. I like that. And uh, so his, an his responses and his answers by today's standards, are very uh, concrete and very exacting. And so that's the type of uh, training that we want our priests to have, is that they can, you know, it's not just a gray area out there when you come to morality or uh, 
political science or history or science or any other discipline, uh, you know, you have exact, precise ways of answering questions and That's also amazing. proposing <laughs> new ideas to people. I'm fascinated so I, by this. I, I'm sorry, go ahead. Now I'm enjoying it already. Go on. Oh, okay. Well, um, as I said, I'm not a, not a big expert. That's my, my basic understanding of his, him and his methods. And uh, sad to say that many or most seminaries today have discarded the scholastic method of St. Thomas Aquinas and don't use it much anymore. And, you know, they depend on contemporary or modern philosophy to help answer uh, questions to, you know, about existence and behavior and... What a horrible thing to say. Life. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it seems to be true. The, most priests today aren't getting a good foundation uh, in scholastic philosophy. And uh, it's, it's just not being taught in the strict methods that it had been for several hundred years. It doesn't bother you? Oh, of course it bothers me. But yeah. That's why, that's why this uh, society here, the priest is so intent upon keeping that tradition Good. alive and, and well. And the men leave here trained in, in a very high level of proficiency at using that method throughout Terrific. their priesthood. Perfect. And, That's amazing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately today, even at the highest levels of the church, you see people trying to massage and nuance truth to to make it fit some idea that they have, that they want to make some change or modification to um, eternal rules that really, or natural law rules that really can't can't and shouldn't be tampered with. You said it yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, I hear you. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead, sir. I would like to wish you happiness and long life, old buddy. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, and, and we appreciate your call. If there's anything I can help you with, I'd be happy to do it. Terrific. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. God bless you. Yeah. Okay. Redemption Seminary, may I help you? Hi. How are you? Very good. Who is this? My name is Julius. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. <laughs> what is this? Who, who, who are you calling with? I would like to talk to you about Thomas Aquinas. Okay? <laughs> Ready? Who is this? <laughs> who is this? My name is Julius. Yeah. Tell me more about Thomas Aquinas. What did he do? He was a very brilliant doctor of the church, but who do you need to speak with someone? This is a seminary. Yeah. Who would you like to speak with? You. <laughs> who is this? Okay. I don't know. My name Julius. is Julius. It doesn't matter. Go on. I didn't Tell make the call. What do you Thomas mean? Aquinas. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for Thomas Aquinas. I have a right to know about Thomas Aquinas. Go on. I insist. Too much theological, I think. Um, <laughs> he ended up saying at the end of his life that all of it was so much rubbish because it was just information that he did and blah, blah, blah. I'm so, fascinated ahead, But tell me, well, who this. are you calling for? You. Okay. I feel like I'm, you're pulling my leg. Truly tell me what you need. I'm no. Sorry. No, 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 no. I'm more interested in Thomas Aquinas. What did he do for dinner? Did you really like Wiener Schnitzel? Did I like him? Yeah. I mean, I think he was a brilliant man. I grew up at a, a church that was named after, dedicated to him, St. Thomas Aquinas in Dallas. Correct. Um, I mean, he was, he was a... You know, obviously a brilliant man that God used um, to explain 
his love and in the end I think he realized that, that God's love for him and for us was just far beyond anything he could study but that's really as much as I know absolutely yeah <laughs> I love it this is really fun now I'm enjoying it already <laughs> okay but, but who is this besides Julius truly I'm, I'm supposed to be answering the phone I'm just a receptionist my name is Julius Dyson excuse me I have Dyson. a few more questions if you don't mind there's someone in my house eating my birthday cake with my family, and that's not me. Um, Did you hear what you, I just you're said? At, you're not at home? No. There's someone in my house eating my birthday cake with my family, and that's not me. Well, I'm sorry. It's your yeah. birthday today? Yes. Well, I don't know what, what we got to do. Sorry. Are you going to help me now or not? Um, I don't really think I'm in position to help you. Why not? Uh, I'll pray for you, Julius, I guess. Okay. That's all I can do, right? Long distance, I submit. Sure. Good. Terrific. Okay. Yes. Are you sure there's not one, no, anyone here you need to speak with, one of the seminarians? Yes. Okay. You. Okay. Okay, very good. I, I need to get back to my work. Thank you. No. No deal.